Hi Stampers! This is Maria with SweetSerenityStamping.com and today I brought you this sweet little box with the cute little canning jars and they have yum 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 on them and this is also a square looking box which is totally different than what I usually make but I thought this was really cool um, I actually seen this um, from one of the other um, stamping up demonstrators and I'm so sorry because I can't remember her name <laughs> but um, I just grabbed this idea from her so I can't really take the full credit for this but um, I did change it up a little bit made it my own and this is what I want to show you how to do today and as you can see this is a belly band that I made now this just slides off like this and inside you open this up and you open this flap here up and inside you probably can't tell, but I'll take it out for you. Um, this, I had to re-foil it. Because I went to the store because I thought this is a great shape. Because this is a triangle piece of candy. And it fits wonderfully in this box. Um, the only thing that I had, which was a, a problem for me, was that this is the candy that I bought. And I am not sure if this candy comes in a smaller size. Um, I looked all over the place and couldn't find one smaller. Uh, this is the one I did find, which is bigger than this box, um, which I had made. And I thought it was going to fit once I took it out of the box, but not quite. So what I had done is just taken two, um, of course it's empty because this one is in here. I just took two of the triangles and I cut them off. And I got to eat them, <laughs> which was really good. Um, and I refoiled it with my with some foil, and I put it in this box, and it works fine. Like I said, there may be a smaller size out there of this. I think is called Tuberlone, if I'm saying it right. Tuberlone, um, very very good Swiss chocolate. Um, so this is what I had used, just because it has this really cute triangular shape, and I thought it would fit. And it fits in there very very cute, of course. And then this belly band will just go on like this and I think this would be a great little yum yum treat to give to a friend co-worker or you can put anything else really in this box um, I just chose to put that because of the shape of the box but you can put anything inside here so let's go ahead and get started let me show you how to do this so what we will need is a piece of rich razzleberry I love this color this um, uh, color here is from our new June catalog. You'll see all the products I am using today will be in the new uh, in our new uh, catalog that we got that just came out in June. So this is Rich Razzleberry. Um, this is 11 by 8. So 8 by 11 inch pieces cardstock. We will also need some DSP, which is the Sweet Taffy. And of course it's double sided. I chose the stripes today. I think that is adorable. Uh, so this piece is four and a half by seven. So a new piece of that. And we will also need another piece of rich razzleberry, very tiny little piece, uh, half an inch by four. And this will go behind our little canning jars. If you can see it real close, there's a piece of mambo melon right here. And we will be using this color today. So it just sits behind there. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my trimmer. My scoreboard, I love this thing, it's amazing. Um, and let's go ahead and take this Rich Raspberry cardstock. So, on the 11 inch side is what we want, the longest side. We want to go ahead and we want to score at 2, and we want to score at 9. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and we want to turn it 90 degrees. And we are going to score it at the one inch. Let me get my one inch in here. I always like to make sure it's exactly on the one inch. Um, I don't want it to be off any. So we'll go ahead and score this at the one inch. And then we will score it at the three inch mark. And we will score it at the five inch mark. And then we will also score it at the 7 inch mark. So 
sometimes I'm a little off and I want to be correct because this box is a, tr is a very different shape and I don't want any errors <laughs> in this box and we'll put that aside. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we'll varnish you know, these little pieces out of the way. I'll show those to you in a minute. We'll go ahead and varnish our score lines. I'll do this side here. These little score lines here. I love this cardstock. This cardstock is a pretty heavy weight, so you can put just about anything when you make boxes with the cardstock. It's it'll hold up. And we have one more score line to varnish. Okay, so now we have our box. I know this is kind of a a big piece of paper or a piece big piece of cardstock for you to see. So hopefully, I'm getting this all in and. As you can tell, there's a smaller corner right here. There's a corner. There's a corner here, and there's one on, on this side and one on this side. We want to get rid of those corners. So I am just going to take these little corners off because we do not need them. We want to do them on all four sides. Stampin' Up! also sells bigger scissors. These are the snips. I have not got the bigger um, pair of scissors yet, which I would love to get someday here soon. Unfortunately, this is what I have to work with for now. So I have to make sometimes a couple cuts to get it. Right. Okay. So now that we have those four little corners out, that's what our piece of paper or our piece of cardstock was going to look like right now. So the next step we would do is right where we cut off our little corners we want to clip up in here okay so I just want to clip this to the next score line so let's go ahead and clip in to that next score line okay and we want to do that also on all four sides and what I'm going to do which I forgot is I want to clip in just a little bit because it makes your your boxes um, just a little bit better to fold in and it won't be so bulky so go ahead and, and clip in there and you'll do this on the other side to that score line and clip those little notches help a lot when you go to fold your box let's do this one more time on this side this is where I wish those I had the bigger scissors because it would come a lot more uh, even cut for me um, these snips are great. They're very, very sharp. Um, but it's nice to have a bigger um, pair of scissors when you need them. Now, there's one thing that I want you to um, do. Now, we have this kind of a weird shape. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way. So this is one end. This is the other end. Now, in this middle box right here, I want you to find your center mark of that box. And I'm going to take my ruler... And of course, this is a two inch box right in the center. So you want to mark it at the one inch line. Okay, just give it a little mark. Okay, now flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Take your ruler. Of course, it's at two. You want to mark it at the one inch line. Now, what we want to do is we want to take our bone folder, our stylus, whatever you have on handy. And we want to, what we want to do is we want to connect that little dot that I just made that you can I'll bring it up a little bit hopefully you can see I don't know if you'll be able to see that but there is a little dot right there I made with my pencil you want to take that and you want to bring it to this corner right here so basically you're doing it kind of like a triangle on here and on this side and I will do that with my ruler so I'm going to go to this line here the little dot I made into the corner okay and I'm going to do it on the opposite side also the same side just match it up and take it to your dot into the corner and we will also do that on the other side so where our dot is you want to meet to this here to the corner in here and this is what's given us our little triangular shape of this box okay so now that we have that basically our box is going to fit in like this this is the way we want it here so we can go ahead and we can bend these back 
like this because those are our score marks we just made with our ruler. Just bend them back, give them a little bend here and there so they'll fit. So now we want this is what this is kind of what we're looking at right now. Is how we want to make our box. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to just round off these corners. Now, um, Stampin' Up does have a corner rounder. Unfortunately, I don't have that corner rounder, but I have this. So I'm just going to stick that in there and round off those corners a little bit. Make sure I have them in there. It's a bigger piece of paper that I'm working with, and of course I can't get that in there. <laughs> Let's slide that in there and give that a corner. And give this a corner. And give this a corner here. Of course that didn't go. See, like I said, Stampin' Up! has one that actually works very well. However, this one doesn't want to obey me today. So I, what I'm going to do is basically I have a round corner there. It's just kind of not very symmetrical round. I'm just going to take my scissors a little bit and give that a little bit better. Oh, let's see, just a little bit better cut. So it has just a better rounded edge to it. And make sure you do that um, this side and this side here. So this is what our piece is looking like. Okay, so now what we want to do is because our box is going to go in like this, okay, we want to go ahead and we want to put some tape on the ends here and the ends here and the end here and this end here and of course we want to go ahead and use sticky sti sticky strip because this is cardstock and cardstock takes uh, it's you know just to keep it really sturdy and for as much weight as you want to put in there this will work if you use snail snail will not stay you want to use something strong you can use Tombow glue to do this um, I prefer the sticky strip um, to do this. You know, like I say, a little, maybe a tiny bit, a little bit more time consuming when you use the sticky strip, but uh, I love it. So I'm going to stick with the sticky strip. And we have one more piece that we want to do right here. And let's get that off. Okay, so there's our sticky strip in there. Now we'll go ahead and do. I do this one at a time. Uh, let's see if I can do this with my fingernail. If not, I will get my um, little. Um, oh, look at that! It came off. Like I said, sometimes sticky strip wants to work. Sometimes sticky strip doesn't want to work for me. <laughs> so I, I do have a little. Um, I can't think of this thing. I'm lost for words. <laughs> I can't. You know, it helps you put holes and stuff in. <laughs> can't think of what this is called. I'm so sorry. I'm like brain dead. But that will also help you get your tape off. Um, so now we want to go ahead and we want to fold these in. Make sure they're nice and flat. Get a good crease on your box. Okay. So you can see our box is starting to take form. Now we're going to take the sticky strip off of this size. This side. I feel a little tongue-tied today, stampers. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I had my friend over here last week. Um, she came in from Florida to visit me, so I wasn't able to put up a video last week. Um, so I am doing that video today. Um, but we had a really good time. She's a my best friend, and she's from Florida, and she was here for about five or six days, and we just had a really good time. So I'm hoping I didn't get you out of frame when we did this. Um, before we went, go ahead and continue, I forgot to do one step, and it doesn't matter on which side of these you want to do, but I have a, um, let's put this in the inside, because this is the one I'm going to do. Make sure you turn this to the inside. This will help you grab it a little bit. Um, this is a one and a quarter inch round. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got a glare on it. One and a quarter inch round. Um, do it about halfway. Do a little punch like halfway or a quarter of the way. Um, try to get it center. Give it a little punch. And this here is like a little lip, so we can that'll help us get our box open and unopened. So basically, now what we want to do is we kind of want 
to pinch the sides in a little bit. And what we need to do is we want to take this end here of the box and basically we want to fold it behind this piece here. So it's kind of like this. It has to go behind you, these little two creases here. So basically you're going to be pushing it in. So what we do is we take it and we push the box in. There we go. And that's what holds your box together. That is fabulous. I just, I love this. And then this, of course, folds over. Okay. Sometimes you get a little creases. They don't want to go exactly where your score line is. It's not a big deal. We are going to put a belly band on top of this. So you can like just move this around a little bit or sometimes this doesn't get in real good but it seems to be in fine. Um, so you get a little crease now and then it's not a big deal. Trust me. So if you get that little extra crease it's fine. So now I'm going to put this aside. Um, and I want to go ahead and get my designer series paper. Like I said this is Sweet Taffy. Basically what we want to do with this paper is we want to roll it. Okay roll it but we want to wrap it okay so if we take I'm going to try to get it somewhat started um, and just kind of form it around the box now give it a little crease here form it around the box give it a little crease here take it around the side give it a little crease now you can do this with uh, and then score this um, I wouldn't suggest to score it because if you do score it it gets a little bit tighter and then it's harder for the belly band to fit so that's up to you. Um, you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to really score this. But this designer series paper is pretty lightweight. So you don't really have to score this. This will just fit fine. So basically now, let me see, make sure I have this on right. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, couldn't figure that out for a minute. <laughs> so there we go. So now what we want to do, that is our belly band. And we just want to take, and you can use snail on this, you don't have to use the sticky strip because this is, this is our DSP paper, so you don't need to use the card stock, and you don't have to use, I'm sorry, the sticky strip, and just form this around here, and you want to just lay this over this, as even as, like this. And you know, like I said, you don't want to make it really tight. You want to be able to move this around. And of course, at first, it's a little bit harder. Kind of break your paper in them. If you keep on going back and forth, back and forth, like I said, it doesn't want to move real good in the beginning. But as you keep on taking this belly band off, on, off, on, off, and on, it'll stretch the paper out some, and it'll, you'll have a, um, a better one where it'll actually be able to fit on there properly. It's just a matter of breaking the fibers in the paper. And that'll keep coming off and on, off and on, off and on. Like I said, in the beginning, yeah, see, you can do it. See, on and off. It's just in the beginning, it's a little bit harder. So not to worry. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to get that little bitty piece of paper, of that cardstock. Okay, this one. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on it so we can get this lifted a little bit so it will have some dimensions. A little bit of dimension, hence the dimensionals. <laughs> so there we go. We'll just put like three on there. And I will go ahead and take these little bitty pieces of paper off. And we are going to secure this onto our belly band. Okay. Now, here's the, make sure we, you know, this the bottom. So make sure you got it going the right way where you have your flaps. And kind of center this as best as you can. Um... Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but center as possible would be great. Now, I want to show you something here. We'll, we'll set this aside just for a second. And of course, I can see I can see I didn't quite get that exactly where I wanted it placed at, so I'm just going to move it up just a tad. And I know this is going to stick, but I am really weird about getting things on there perfectly straight. I am really bad about that. But it doesn't take much to move those dimensionals. Now I'm happy with it. I think it's okay. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to leave that aside. Now what I had done today, and to finish off this cute little box, is I used About the Label stamp set. And this is the cutest stamp set ever. I love this stamp set. 
we are going to use the canning jar right here and we are going to use this one that says yum I hope you can see that they have really cute ones HB to you happy birthday to you they have baby for you hi miss you X and O's they have a little package and there's a little envelope in this set is just amazing I love it and it also if you get this stamp set you're going to want to get these punches here okay and these are the uh, punch pack little labels and you get three of them and they are so cute the labels are adorable um, and they all coordinate back all three of these coordinate back with these here with the high and the for you they're all different shapes and these coordinate back to that so it's like easy cutting easy peasy cutting it's amazing you you get this that stamp set you definitely need these it's like I said easy that's what Stampin' Up! is all about so I went ahead for sake of video and what I had done is I had stamped on Whisper White these three little canning jars and I just love these canning jars uh, as you can see in this one here I, I see I stamped them but I went around as you can see and I just like cornered these off and this is the way I did this one um, and I also stamped yum which today I, I also stamped yum but I'm putting it up on a dimensional so I'll show you the difference here now I've got these three like I said they're a little bit smaller because I didn't have all that excess of whisper white around it I didn't want to do that I wanted to show you something different so I have these three and those I just stamped and this here is Mellow Mambo and this is Pumpkin Pie and this is Island Indigo these are the stamps that I use the inks excuse me that I used to ink up those stamps okay so those are the three colors I used and I did the same thing with these little bitty yums can you see that and cute and I put it on a dimensional and what we're going to do now is take off that little piece of paper on the back of the dimensional and we are going to put the yum right on the canning jar and there you go there's your yum and so now we have some more dimension to this I think this is cute and like I said this is the other one I did okay this is the one I'm doing now so you can see it's a little bit smaller because I cut around this I cut around these jars there's no um, punches that that cut these so you have to cut around them and that's why I did them ahead of time because I figured you would be bored if you had to see me do all three of these and cut them out to here so but you can see how this is stamped okay and this is also stamped but I put it up on a dimensional so you can see it gave it a little bit more dimension so I did that with all three take the little dimensional on the back of that and we'll go ahead and place this yum on this canning jar and the last one we would do for the melon mumbo jar and put the yum on that one and I am in love in love in love with this I think these are so cute they're adorable so now what I did is I took more dimensionals okay I'm gonna flip these over and I just took three more dimensionals gave this a dimensional this one here and this one here okay and now I will take these off okay and I will stick this one here um let's see I'm not gonna do that one right now let's let's do um so, I don't yeah okay <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take them all off first and then I'm gonna figure out which one I want to put in the middle the end because these two colors are nowhere near the same. I know, but I, I wanted the darker, you know, the, the Island Indigo one to be in the middle of these two. So let's go ahead. We'll just start with this pumpkin pie one. Well, let's start with the let's start with the middle one. This way we'll be even and then we'll get on there straight. So basically take the yum little and put it in the middle. I'll just try to get it centered as much as possible. I think that's about right and then I'm going to take let's go ahead and we'll take this one here and we'll put the yum on this end okay and then we'll go ahead and we'll put the yum on this end on this one let's 
see. So let me move it over a little bit here. Okay. So that's the difference between the, you know, like I said, it's it's. Um, I just wanted to show you another way that you can do this. Um, I think this turned out really cute. I like this one just as much as I like the other one. Here's the other one that I made. So there's the difference in the two. As I can see, this one's smaller with the yums, the canning jars cut out, and this is with the canning jars uh, just stamped. And then I kind of cut a, left a little bit of that whisper white around the sides, and I just rounded the corners. And then this one, I cut them out, and I popped up the yums. So there, this is two different two different ones, two different ways of doing it, two different colors. I just wanted to give you a different you no know, different something different to do that you know another another idea um, like I said you can do anything you want I mean you can uh, and like I said the sky's the limit you can go ahead and even put this box in the middle of that and then maybe put the two little HB's to you on each side of them so with this little stamp set you can do a lot of different things with it and the cards that you can make with this is just unreal <laughs> it's just like I said sky is the limit with this and then having these little bitty punches to go with them. Fabulous stampers. You need to get it. <laughs> so anyways, here is my projects. I hope you, everybody, I hope everybody took a little bit of time or, or anybody who's out there took some time out of their day to come to my channel and visit me and uh, let me show you how to make this really cute little project. So, like I said, you can use this. If you can find the smaller ones, Please comment down below this video and let me know if you found the smaller ones. I have been looking all over for the small. I know they're like this big, like they're like half of this, and I know they're smaller ones. I've seen them out there, but I could not find any, so I kind of had to improvise. But it was really good because I got to eat the last couple pieces of chocolate I took out, so it was worth it. But anyway, <laughs> you don't have to necessarily put that one in there. You can put any kind of little candies or whatever you want in there. So anyway, Stampers, I hope you enjoyed this project. Please stay tuned to my uh, channel. I would love for you guys to come back and visit me um, and keep up with what I'm doing. On the right hand side of my blog there is a join the site. Please put your email in there so you can follow me with all my new projects. And at the bottom of this video will be a list of supplies that you need to make these projects. Um, you can also just click on that and you can shop right from whatever, anything you, you click on down there will take you to the shop. And then, you're is, oh, and then there's also a shop button at the top of my page that you can click on there. And that will also take you to um, Stampin' Up! where you can do some shopping. And like I said, these are so adorable. Um, so I am, I'm hoping you like my project today. Please leave me a comment if you do. Let me know what you think about this or if there's anything that you would like to see. Um, maybe I can try to make that for you. Um, but anyways... I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, it's actually pretty warm and hot in Texas, and we've had a few couple days, and it's been, you know, really cool. It's been wonderful. Today's a little bit hotter, but not bad. So anyways, hope everybody's having a great day, and I hope you all come back to see me soon. Bye, everybody.